New developments in a story we first reported on WAF 48 News at noon. A suspect is in custody after leading police on a chase along I-65 through three counties. Yeah, that chase started before noon in Coleman County. It went along the interstate all the way through Morgan County before authorities got the driver stopped in Limestone County near the Tennessee state line. WFF 48's Jack Madison was the first reporter on the scene. Jack. Mark, an officer tried to pull the man over in the rig in Coleman along 65. He didn't stop. And then a nearly hour long 55 mile chase began. We're going to show you the suspect where that chase ended in custody at the end of that at the uh, 365 exit. Investigators say motorists called 911 about a semi moving erratically around the 296 mile marker on 65. Around 1130, a state trooper saw him, attempted to pull Anton Barvenik over, but he wouldn't stop. Police say they put up spike strips, but even after losing some tires, surrounded by patrol cars from multiple agencies, he just kept on driving. That is until he crashed into the guardrail in the median near the state line. Authorities say he resisted arrest. They used force, including tasing the man to get him into custody. Investigators say they found a weapon and ammunition inside that 18 wheeler. Anton Barvenik is charged with attempting to elude, and he's also charged with reckless endangerment. And we are told other charges are likely coming down the pike. Mark, Liz. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. Strange, yeah. strange. Well, the suspect in this case talked with WFF 48 News before being hauled away. And it gets stranger. WFF 48's Nick Law joins us in studio with that uh, rather bizarre roadside interview, Nick. And Mark, I walked right up to him and asked him several questions about really what happened. The biggest one, why he decided not to stop on this really more than 50 mile chase. The suspect claims he's in a battle between good and evil. He tells me he didn't drive his truck through I-65 but rather through hell. When I asked him where he's from, he told me he's been in the country about 11 years, most re recently Chicago, but he's originally from the Ukraine. I asked him several questions about the chase. He says he knew police were driving behind him and he didn't think he put any lives in danger. Now, medical officials on scene did plan on checking his mental status. And the God, both of them was fighting for me because I was a chosen one. Because of my big heart, I love everybody. No matter through, what kind of pain you're going to put me through, I'm still going to love you. Now, <laughs> extremely strange, but as soon as we hear anything more about this, Sesso will be sure to pass it along to you. To see his complete interview, all you need to do, log on to our website, WAFF.com. Reporting live, Nick Law, WAFF 48 News. Right, Nick, speaking of our website, our crews and several viewers sent us pictures of this chase. Now, we've posted those on WAFF.com. And remember, if you see news happening, you can send your pictures to us at pics at WAFF.com. <laughs>